Hello, folks. Welcome once again to another edition of Let's Pick coming to you directly from the Central Activity Center here in beautiful Phoenix City, Alabama. We're here with my good friend Darnell Pennington. And Darnell, I wanted to turn to you and let you go ahead, as you normally do, and issue that invitation for everybody to come down and visit with us on Thursdays. Okay, I would like to invite all of you to come down on Thursday nights. We start uh, actually playing at 6.30 and go until 9 o'clock. It's free to the public, and it's all acoustic. If you just want to play along, you don't have to get up uh, at the mic. We have a special row just for you. If you just want to tap your feet and clap along, that's fine, too. Come on down and enjoy us. We have a lot of fun. Okay, and of course, cable television of East Alabama televises a portion of this. The first 10 uh, performers we record, and then this is telecast on Friday. Friday right? nights. At what time? 7.30. At 7.30 on Friday nights on our cable channel 7. Now, I have a question for you. Okay. Are you enjoying this cold weather? I love this time of year. Well, you know what? I was talking with a fellow the other day, and I was talking about, you know, it was pretty cold. And he said, no, I said, you really don't know what cold is. I said, what do you mean? He said, well, you know, when I was in the military, I was in the Navy. And actually, we made a trip under the ice cap to the North Pole. And we actually were able to come up and stand at the North Pole. And he says, now, that's cold. I said, well, how cold was it? He said, well, it was so cold that when we talked to each other, it came out in ice cubes and we had to melt them to see what we were saying. Okay, <laughs> okay. that's good. Now that's cold, that's right? Cold. Tell that's us cold. who we have on program. Max Sanders, Merle Walters, Lomax Austin, Nida Sowers, Judy Allen, Ernest Wilkerson, John Fink, Claude Michu, Gene Jordan, Glenn Cosby. Let me once again echo what uh, Darnell said. Come down and join us every Thursday night starting at 6.30 here at the Central Activity Center in beautiful Phoenix City, Alabama. Need to remind you that this telecast is brought to you by Cable Television of East Alabama, your hometown connection for cable TV, high-speed internet, and home phone. We'll look forward to seeing you again next week. I one like it, so I do this. I'm satisfied with just a cottage below A little silver and a little gold But in that city where the ransom will shine I've got a gold one of silver lines I've got a match just over the hilltop in that bright land where we'll never grow and someday yonder we'll never more want Walk on streets that appear as gold. Bow.
walk on streets that appear at school. One more time, Claude. I've got a mansion just over the hilltop in that bright land where we'd never grow old. And someday yonder we'd never more wonder and walk on streets that up here at school. Thank you. Cable TV of East Alabama is more than just your local provider. We're part of the community. That's why we give you local offices staffed by local people for the best support in town. We're also giving you more digital channels, 50 in HD, and faster internet speeds. Plus, sign up today and get free installation and your second month free. Cable TV of East Alabama, giving back to the community we live in. Call 334-298-7000 and sign up today. That's 334-298-7000. Available to new customers only. Some restrictions apply. Every day is so wonderful And suddenly it's hard to breathe Would it be okay if I sat here? Is she serious? Whatever. New girl. Reaching out. Pass it on. So don't you bring me A message from the Foundation for a Better Life. The Citizen of East Alabama is your award-winning hometown newspaper. This year winning six Alabama Press Association Awards for first place for Best Sports Photo by Denise Dubois. First place Best Headline by Katherine Haas. Second place Best News Photo by Blunda Copeland. Second place Best Sports Story by Mark Clark. Second place Best Editorial by Denise Dubois. And third place Best Sports Column by Mark Clark. Thank you for your continued readership of The Citizen of East Alabama. Wow. College already. <laughs> yeah. We gotta go. I love you. I love you too, Daddy. And thanks for everything. Gratitude. Pass it on. A message from the Foundation for a Better Life.
the citizen of East Alabama, has been known by many names over the past 60 years. But one thing has always been the same. We are your hometown news, hometown people. The citizen of East Alabama, the voice of this community. Celebrating 60 years. Would it be okay if I sat here? Is she serious? Whatever. New girl. Reaching out. Pass it on. So don't you bring me a message from the Foundation for a Better Life. But a lot better than last week. We weren't born to follow. Wow. College already. <laughs> yeah. We gotta go. I love you. I love you too, Daddy. And thanks for everything. Gratitude. Pass it on. A message from the Foundation for a Better Life. I'm going to try, uh, I always call it Titanic. I think the name of it now with the old canoe. Indeed. It was 25 years ago when the wings of death came low and spread out on the ocean far and wide. A great ship sailed away with their passengers so brave, never ever reached the other side. Sailing out to win her fame, the Titanic was her name. Yet say a 500 miles from shore <laughs> Many passengers and their crew Went down with that old canoe They all went down to never ride no more Play it one time This great ship was built by a man, that is why she could not stand. She could not see what the cry from one and all. But an iceberg gripped her side and she cut down all her pride. They found the hand of God was in it all. Sailing out to win her fame, Titanic was her name. She had sailed 500 miles from Many passengers and their crew went down with that old crew. They all went down to never rise no more. Titanic sail today, oh, I see you far away, but Jesus Christ can take you safely through. Just obey His great command over the earth and safely land. You never go down with that old canoe. Sailing out to win her fame, Titanic was her name. She had sailed 500 miles from shore. Many passengers and their crew went 
I hit twenty-five dollar bid, and now thirty dollar thirty. Will you give me thirty? Make it thirty. Be in the palm of thirty dollar. Who'll bid a thirty dollar bid? There was a boy in Arkansas who wouldn't listen to his mom, which told him he should go to school. He'd sneak away in the afternoons, take a little walk, and pretty soon find him at the local auction barn. He'd stand and listen carefully, then pretty soon he began to see how the auctioneer could talk so rapidly. He said, oh my, do or die, I've got to learn how to auction cry, got to make my mark and be an auctioneer. Twenty-five dollar bid and I'll third out thirty, well you give me thirty, make it thirty, beat them all thirty dollar, who would be today? Thirty-five dollar bid. Thirty-five dollar bid and I'll forty dollar forty. Will you give me forty? Make a forty be the palm forty to the who would it be today to forty five dollar bid?
As time went on, he did his best. All could see he didn't jest. Practice calling bids both night and day. His pap would find him behind the barn just working up an awful storm as try to imitate the auctioneer. His pap said, son, we just can't stand to have a mediocre man sell things at auction using in our good name. Well, I'll send you off to auction school, and then you'll be nobody's fool. You can take your place among the best. Twenty-five dollars a bit and I'll third all thirty really give me thirty, make it thirty, beat the bomb a thirty dollar. Who would it be today? Thirty-five dollars a bit. Thirty-five dollars a bit and I'll forty dollar forty will give me forty real forty year old bit of forty dollar. Who would it be today? Forty-five dollars a bit. Lost my tongue on that one. Now from that boy who went to school, there grew a man who played it cool. Came back home a full-fledged auctioneer. Yeah. People came from miles around just to hear him make that rhythmic sound that filled the hearts such a happy cheer. His fame spread up from shore to shore. He had all he could do and more. Had to buy a plane he could get around. Now he's the tops in all the land. Let's pause and give that man a hand. He's the best hillbilly auctioneer. Twenty-five dollar bid and I'll thirty dollar thirty. Will you give me thirty? Make it thirty. Meet the mama thirty dollar. Who would it be today? Thirty-five dollar bid. Thirty-five dollar bid and I'll forty dollar forty. Will you give me forty? Make it forty. Meet the mama forty dollar. Who would it be today? The forty-five dollar bid. Double time. Twenty-five dollar bid and I'll third all thirty. Will you give me thirty? Make it thirty. Beat your mama thirty dollar. Who would it be today? Thirty-five dollar bid. Thirty-five dollar bid and I'll forty dollar forty. Will you give me forty? Make it forty. Beat your mama forty dollar. Who would it be today? Forty-five dollar bid. Well, I sold that hog for a fifty dollar bill. Well, all right, so here's twenty-five dollar bid and I'll third all thirty. We sold that lady sitting right there. He just bought a fifty dollar hog.